two ultimate machines are compared in this video, so from one side we have the beautiful versatile 340 model, against the third model of the Deer 8R series, the 8R 340. Both are on 340 horses level and they are perfect for a comparison, both are available on the market after the 2020. So if you want to buy a 340 horses tractor and these two are recommended for you, stay to the video until the end to see which comes first on power, size, speed, performance and more, of course do all these here to help us grow even more and make the video viral. So enough talk, let's compare. The versatile wears the Cummins QSL 9 of 9 liters and 6 cylinders, Deere has a same size engine. The John Deere Powertech PSSB8 diesel compatible of 9 liters and 6 cylinders also, so which engine you believe can perform better on 9 liters, Cummins or PSS? Waiting comments. The rated power of both tractors is at 340 horses, the versatile has a max boost at 370 peak, the Deere's boost from the other side is higher, at 375 horses with IPM and a 388 peak with IPM at 1900 revolutions per minute. So the rated power is the same but the deer can boost higher than versatile and here we have the first difference and also advantage of the deer against versatile. For God's sake the PTO of varietal tractors almost never mentioned on the brochures, that's really annoying sometimes, so PTO is not included on this comparison, deers as we already know is on 284 horses max. The peak torque of versatile is at 1627 newton meters on 1500 revolutions per minute, deers is lower at 1,592 newton meters on 1,600 revolutions per minute, and here we have the second difference, versatile takes on deer as about torque, it can touch much higher newton meters on lower revolutions. The rear hitch lift of versatile is at 7,829 kilograms with the front one not available according the brochure or maybe it can be available upon order, deer's rear is higher at 9,000 kg standard and it can touch the 12,124 peak optional and a front one at 5,200 kg, so as about the hitch deer can lift more capacity and also a front one is available. The top speed of versatile is at 40 km per hour, wearing the full power shift transmission and a max fuel tank capacity of 644 liters, some of the cabine standards are, air condition, radio, monitor, SAS pended seat, buddy seat, front and back sun shades and more. There is no translation on the brochures as these versatiles come from Russia so it is difficult to find more. The top speed of the deer from the other side is higher, touching the 40 to 50 km per hour accordingly the transmission. The available transmissions are, the power shift with APS, the E23 with efficiency manager or the auto power. The max fuel tank capacity is at 727 liters, higher than versatiles. Some of the cabine innovations can be found at the video of the pin comment, click the link as we mentioned them on our previous videos. So, we saw the general output, even if it was too difficult to find the specs of this 340 versatile, let's now see the size of these two. The basic weight of versatile is at 12,728 kilograms and it can touch the 16,057 of max permissible weight. Deer from the other side is at 12,700 to 14,000 kg shipping and it can touch the 18,000 to 20,000 max permissible weight. So the deer is a heavier tractor with higher max permissible weight also. The wheelbase of versatile is at 3.27 meters, deer's is smaller, at 3.05 meters. The max length of versatile is at 6.51 meters, deer is at 6.19 meters it can touch the 6.64 with rear and front hitch. The width of versatile is at 2.54 meters, deer is wider, at 2.60 overall. The height of the cub of versatile is at 3.42 meters, deer is taller, at 3.55 with the SRI rear tires. So as a conclusion, the versatile 340 on 340 horses has higher torque on lower RPM. It has only power shift transmission choice, larger wheelbase, and it is longer if the front hitch is not available on the deer. Deer 340 from the other side on 340 horses can boost a higher power than 340 versatile, it has higher hitch capacities, front available hitch also, higher fuel tank capacity, it is faster on roads with plenty transmission choices, also it is heavier with higher max permissible weight, taller and wider, it can be longer with rear and front hitch available. So friends, 340 deer or 340 versatile? Which would be your king for the field if you had to choose a 340 horses tractor? These were the differences, waiting comments, don't forget to subscribe, have fun.